we're going to figure out what's going on in our country. All right, the mystery story we're going to talk about today is why we see the rise of different secular religions in America right at the same time in our national history. The first secular cult we see in America is this new dogma that says your identity is based on the color of your skin. That if you're black, you're disadvantaged. That if you're white, you're privileged. No matter your economic background or your upbringing, your race governs who you are and what you can achieve in life. It's what Don Lemon told me on the stage when before he got kicked off out of CNN, the last interview he did with me, he said that you can't say it if you don't have black skin. Now, good news for him is they canned him after that. That was a good, that was a good result from that interview. <laughs> so I was, I was happy to play a role in that. But, but it's not just him, right? It, it, this is a pervasive dogma in our culture. Congresswoman Ayanna Presley of the squad she famously said it a couple years ago when she said, we don't want any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown voice, end quote. Now, I don't fit her description of what counts as a brown voice, but there's a really toxic philosophy embedded in there, and it's this. When your race goes from being about your skin color to being about the content of the ideas you're allowed to have, then any disagreement with those ideas automatically makes you a racist. And there is no greater damnation in modern America than to be called a racist. So when given the choice between pledging allegiance to this new religion and being tarred with that scarlet R, everyday Americans are choosing to bend the knee. And that's created this new culture of fear in our country. Fear of losing your jobs. Fear of your kids getting a bad grade in school. Fear of becoming an outcast in your own community. So that, that's the first of these secular cults in America. I could go on about it, but I'm going I'm to make a point here. There's the rise of a second secular cult right at the same time. This is the cult of gender ideology. This one says that there's so many little letters in it, LGBTQIA, they just put a little plus at the end of it. So many other letters to keep track of. This one says that the sex of the person you're attracted to is hardwired on the day you're born. Yet now your own biological sex is totally fluid over the course of your life. These two things can't make sense if you're applying logic but if you're subscribing to a secular cult, then you can believe these things at the same time. Now, right at the time, you have the cult of gender ideology. You have racial wokeism. Now we see the rise of this new cult. Now, this one looks like it's here to stay unless we do something about it, and we will. That is the climate cult in America. All right, that is this new cult that says we have to stop burning carbon here in the United States or carbon emissions of any kind, that we have to adopt electric vehicles at all costs even as we ship those same carbon emissions to places like China. That doesn't make sense if supposedly you're addressing global warming. The same cult is hostile to nuclear energy, the best known form of carbon-free energy production known to mankind. So, so the question here today is, do you think it's a coincidence that we see the rise of these different secular religions at the same time? It is not. These are symptoms of a deeper cancer in our country. 